Today, I have the Amazfit Balance, which is the successor to the GTR4, which was uh, very successful, I think. The GTR4 was actually a great watch, and I really like that. And so hopefully they improved on a couple of features here and took care of a couple of things that I did not like. So I'm going to unbox this, and uh, we'll go over some of the sensors and uh, new features that they have on this thing. So not much in the box here. Not uh, too much to describe here. Some of the boxes are a little more descriptive, but uh, that's about it. Okay, just had to kind of loosen it up a little bit here. So this is uh, just a QR code that you can scan in here to, to uh, help you uh, set this thing up. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so uh, I have a lot of Amazfit products and some of the uh, more budget lines, they just come in a little baggy. This one actually is presented just a little nicer, which is uh, nice. Let me see if there's anything else in the box here. Probably just a charger. And of course the uh, instruction manual, and uh, that's about it for that. It's harder to open than you thought. So uh, they still, this is actually a new magnetic charger that they have here. It's still not a wireless charging, so uh, looks like we're getting closer though, right? That's actually a, a pretty good uh, length here, so that's good. Oh, and this is actually super light, much lighter than I thought. Maybe it's because of the band uh, here. That actually looks really nice there. So this is a 1.5 inch AMOLED screen. And uh, the only thing I didn't like about this is that it is still tempered glass, which Amazfit usually does on their watches. And there's also actually no ridge to protect here. So uh, this, I might actually have to put a screen protector on. I'm a little concerned about that one. So it has two buttons here, uh, which is always nice for navigation. You got this one, and then you got the rotating crown on top, which is great. That makes uh, navigation much easier on these small screens. It has a 1500 nit brightness. Uh, for, you, for those of you that don't know your nit systems, uh, 1500 is actually uh, pretty bright. And it has a 480 by 480 resolution. So this is an aluminum alloy frame and a fiber reinforced polymer. I really just see the uh, aluminum frame here. It actually looks uh, pretty sharp. Uh, of course, wonderful of Amazfit. We still got the uh, 22 millimeter bands, which are standard, so I could take this out and put any band I want on that, which is uh, just wonderful. I have a whole bunch of these bands. This comes in sunset gray. That's what this one is. And that comes with this, uh, you know, fabric band, which I actually really like these bands. Uh, they're very light. I'll see how this one does when it gets wet. But this also, I, I love to adjust my watch during the day and just loosen it a little bit, tighten it a little bit. And, you know, so I'm always fiddling with it. So this is, I really like this one. But it also does come in uh, midnight, and that's a black color and uh, it has the traditional uh, clasp uh, band. So this is what that uh, looks like. So it has uh, the basic sensors here and a couple extra. It has a geomagnetic sensor, a barometer, a thermometer, which is great at this price point, and an ambient light sensor. It also has the new BioTrack of 5.0, and it has five uh, GPS satellite uh, positioning systems. And that, uh, Amazfit says that gives it 99.5% accuracy. Let's go ahead and turn this on. I'll show you how to pair this quick. Amazfit usually makes them pretty easy to pair. But the other thing Amazfit uh, sometimes does is makes it so you have to plug it in before it uh, will turn on. So let me do that. Yeah, so I just uh, plugged that in. Uh, as soon as I plugged it in, the uh, Amazfit just turns on. So I don't know why they do that, but that's how that works. Okay, so let's uh, pick our language here. Uh, and this is actually pretty important. So someone left a comment that they picked the wrong language. And once you do that, it's actually kind of hard to get to the right menu to, to change it. So... Uh, just be careful when you do this. Uh, I'm in English here. And then download uh, the uh, Zep app, which is, uh, this is exactly what that is. That's what it looks like. I already downloaded it, so I'll hit uh, OK. Now we got the uh, QR code that we have here. And then uh, this is the Z Fold 5 for anyone who's concerned. And I do have a bunch of uh, videos on this if you'd like to uh, subscribe and check all those things out. Then we'll move on from that shameless promo. And here is the Zep app. Then we got to go into here and we are going to add a device. And it's a watch. There's a couple of different options on here, but we're just going to click uh, the watch. I thought I deactivated all the Amazfit uh, products that I had on here, but I uh, have the BIP5 that I was using recently. I still have that on. So it just basically says we're going to deactivate uh, the BIP5 and deactivate this one. Can you, only, you can only have one watch uh, paired at once, which is no big deal. To sync it back on, it takes like two seconds. So it also said you want to synchronize the data I have on the BIP5 to this one. I always hit that. And you get this uh, nice Cylon light, and this uh, scans really fast, and it's connecting to the device. And then, of course, this is the pass key, and it uh, hopefully matches. I haven't seen it not match yet, but it's always possible. 
So there we go, we're gonna do this. And now that gives you the check mark, right? So we're doing okay. And then also you got the check mark in here. So it will be paired if you click uh, yes, which uh, obviously we have to, so let's pair it. And now this is a big thing with the Macefit. Uh, they have the ZEP coach and the bands that don't have the ZEP coach, it will tell you that your band you're pairing doesn't have it so the data won't sync. And if you have a ZEP coach, then all the data that you had for the ZEP coach will sync to the new watch. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, if you have another Amazfit product and you're using it and you just kind of have, you upgraded it to this one, um, you probably want to synchronize all your new information onto there and it will do your settings and, you know, all your previous workout history and all that kind of stuff. But if you do want to set it as a new device, go ahead and do that. I'm just going to synchronize it. And uh, we're done here. I'm just probably going to do a software update here in a minute. So uh, I'll show you the basic navigation of the watch uh, once we uh, just pair this and set all this up. But it's there if you want it. And then, again, we're going to have to, uh, it's transferring data. And then I think after it does the uh, transferring data, then it's going to do a system update. So I'll just give that a minute, and I will get to you after all this is done. And obviously, this is what's happening on the watch. And it says here uh, 10 minutes until it's done. It usually takes a little less than that. But uh, I'm just going to let this roll, and I will get back to you when this is done. Okay, we're at the tail end of this. This one here says less than a minute. And then this one, this also gives you all the new uh, software updates and what they uh, added to the, uh, all the features that they added. So that's nice. Okay, just to show you what it's doing here, we got a verifying here. Then it was verifying there. And now we got a watch. And now it is doing a software update. After it does that software update, then it just automatically restarts here. Okay, after it's done preparing, this is what we get here. Update complete. And then, you know, you can read all what's new and all that kind of stuff. And we're just going to hit check. And there we go. There's our maze fit. Now, let me just show you this a uh, little more in detail here. Again, I'm a little concerned. Again, this is no bezel here at all. So if you do uh, hit anything, the screen is going to take the brunt of the shock here. Uh, but you do have those two buttons here. And it does uh, have a microphone and a speaker on this side and this way you could take and make phone calls on this thing and then I didn't take this off this is the the bio tracker here again that's supposed to be improved and actually it looks like I said really sharp here so the charger uh, you know it looks like it almost could have been wireless here but we got these two pins here and then they just go in like this and you know it holds on there pretty good but boy I wish it had wireless then you could do reverse wireless charging and all that other stuff. But this does look really sharp, and I'm actually really surprised, like I said, it's really super light here. So let me just go over a couple of features here that it has, and I'll just go through the quick navigation so you can see what's available here. It does have 150 sports modes, uh, which is more than anyone would probably ever need. It does have built-in Alexa, which is uh, nice, but it's not available in every country. It does have 200 plus uh, watch faces, which is great because there's no downloading of third-party apps from Apple or Google on here, so whatever the watch faces are, that's what's there. And they have added uh, a lot to that, and 200 is uh, probably an okay number. So there's a lot of watch faces that, uh, you know, are just not your type. So you could probably get rid of uh, probably a third of those watch faces pretty quickly. The other great thing about Amazfit products is that they do have a uh, great battery life. And this one promises uh, 14 days of regular use and five days of heavy usage. And um, I've had a bunch of Amazfit products in the past, and they're not always 100%, but they're real close to what they claim. I'll test that out, though. So you can measure your body composition on this, and you can also input route, route files for uh, offline tracking. Those are kind of two premium features that are not found in a, in a lot of watches. Uh, like I said, there is that microphone and uh, the speaker on here, so you can make and take phone calls, which is great. Uh, the only thing with the Maze Fit, again, this is another thing I don't like about them, they don't have any kind of keyboard. So if you get a text and you want to respond, you can't. You can only use the quick uh, responses that you already uh, pre-made which is, you know, a little limiting. And this also does have uh, NFC on here, and it does have a ZEP Pay. So uh, technically, you should be able to pay with this, put your credit cards on the watch and actually pay with just your watch. But uh, that's only available in the limited amount of countries right now. I'm in the United States, and I know it's not available here. Maybe one day it might be. I'm not sure. But um, it's nice that they at least are trying to build on the features on this thing. So I always forget to say this when I review a Maze for products, but they are uh, compatible with Apple and Android phones. And with either of those uh, ecosystems, you can use all the features here. So if you swipe down from the top, you got your quick toggles, and you can see nine there at once, which is kind of really convenient. And then you got a couple more that you have there. You could add these and move these around and do all that kind of stuff. I'll do a full video on how to uh, customize the watch entirely. And then I'll also uh, stay tuned. I'll also do a full review of the watch and let you know how accurate it is and how good it is and how it holds up and how all the features uh, work.
But then we're gonna swipe up. That's usually our notifications, there's that. Then if we swipe over, we usually get shortcuts and this is that. So these are like your daily stuff. It will give you your weather, your battery life, uh, if you have any events going on, your workout activity, uh, your zip coach, if you have you know a training day or something going on. So that's over there. And then if you scroll this way, we get into all of our widgets, which is nice. And then, of course, you could also uh, actually, this is another thing I didn't like about a Mace Fit. This crown should be able to rotate you through the widgets, but it doesn't. So, okay, that's another nitpicky thing, but I don't like that. So if you hit the bottom button here, we get into our workout list, and this could be customized to whatever you want it to activate here. But this is your workouts, and you can scroll through here nice and easy with this crown. Really nice haptic feedback there. And then if you want to get back to the home screen, wherever you are, you just hit this top button and you get there. So if you hit the button, when you're at the home position, then you get into your app list and you get all these apps, you know, kind of like Apple-esque, I guess, where you can move them all around here and, uh, you know, you can zoom in and zoom out, all that kind of stuff. And you could, uh, I'm sure you can customize this and make your app just in a list format if you like those. And you could probably adjust how many apps that you have on the screen at once. But then when you hit the button here again, then you just go back to your home screen. So really uh, cool stuff there. And then if you hold this, that usually is Alexa. And if you don't use Alexa, then you can just uh, customize this to activate any other thing. So that's nice. So you can customize, you know, this button and that button, and you can do a lot of different things uh, pretty easily. And that watch face actually looks uh, pretty sharp. And again, surprisingly light. So a uh, real nice. I don't know why I got such a colorful band here. My wife's definitely going to know I got a new watch. Don't know what I'm going to do about that. So stay tuned. I'm going to uh, wear this for a bit. I'll give you a full review, hopefully in a few weeks. And uh, then I'll go into how to customize everything on this watch, everything on the app. And uh, like I said, there's usually a lot of menu options here that you could adjust. Thanks for watching. And uh, please consider subscribing, liking, all that other good stuff. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.